Hey guys, I want to share with you today how to use a drop down menu with the query function. This will really help you guys create a more dynamic dashboard. So over here, I have a, uh, a table of data. It's the list of largest tech companies in the world. So we have a column for company, industry, country, revenue, employees, and when it was founded. So this is what we're going to create. So we're going to have a drop down menu here, and then we're going to be able to select the country. And it's going to only show us the data from over here that has United States as the country. So you can go from, you know, to Japan, uh, China, uh, and so forth. So let me show you guys how to create this from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to delete everything, including the data validation. So I'm going to create a drop down list over here. So country, and then over here, it's going to have the drop down list, you just go to uh, right click and data validation. And then you can either uh, type a list of items or have a list of range. So for here, I'm going to select all the countries in this over here, and then hit save. All right, so now I can click on United States and it'll show up. So this is in cell C2 down here. So now I'm gonna write out the query function. So I'm gonna write query, and then I'm gonna highlight all the data in quotes. Now select, I'm gonna use the asterisk to select all of the columns where column J is where the country is. So where J, and over here you can put where J matches or equals. So you can put where J matches or where J equals. And then the cell we're going to use is cell C2, right? Because we want it to be where column J matches or equals the text in cell C2. So it's really simple. When you want to do a cell reference in a query formula, you just have to surround each side by three quotation marks and an and sign. So I'm going to do it for both sides, right? And then inside, I'm going to type cell C2. And then I'm going to close the query with the quotation marks and then a parentheses. And bam, just like that, you can create a drop down menu for the query formula. And I find this is the strongest way to use a query formula because um, it creates a more dynamic experience for the user. Let me know if you guys have any questions, guys. Thanks.